Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much. This is another foundation series, the part five. Okay, today's um ingredients, yeah, of choice, will I call it so? Um is essential oils. Yes, and a lot of you will be shocked. Ah, essential oil is natural, it's clean, it's pure. Do, 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 do. Yes, it's all of that. I agree with you, but that does not mean that it doesn't have usage rates as well. It also has to be used with caution. The dynamic of essential oils, I have a video I spoke about essential oil. I'm going to link it in the description area. You could watch it. The dynamic about essential oil is that the way it's been created, it has this ability to oxidize. Yes, it has the uh, ability to oxidize. Like for me, or if you're an oldie on my channel, you realize that I have some favorite essential oils which are listed by the side. The tea tree essential oil, the rosemary essential oil, the lavender. These are the lavender essential oil. These are my favorites. You understand? Like I don't know why I just have this special connection with them. But feel free to diversify your use of essential oils all right not marketing this is not a sponsored video in any way but i have some few essential oils here with me that i kind of um, enjoy using due to their moderate concentration and that is the himani essential oil this is the, their tea tree oil this essential oil is very friendly on the skin yes this um, tea tree oil of course is popularly known for its anti-acne and anti-eczema um, properties then another oil again is the avocado oil you understand this is also another beautiful one in fact i don't even really like to call this an essential oil i kind of tag it under the list of um my korea oils yeah because some not all oils you think are essential oils are essential oils that's another story for another day but meanwhile if you watch my video about essential oils you would understand what i'm talking about and then this is another brand from el hawaj this one the concentration is not as high as um himani yeah for me but i use both though you understand this is another good brand from egypt i think yeah it's a, it's an african brand why the other himani is from pakistan yeah so um all these um products and um, himani oils and the hawaj oils are good in use for your products but meanwhile it still goes uh it still goes with the fact that they have usage rates Aside from these essential oils I showed you, there are other BM brands also like now, Dr. Organics. All those are also um, brands of essential oils, I think, in the UK or so. I'm not too sure where they're coming from. Those ones too are really, really concentrated. In fact, their concentration most of the time is even higher than that of these ones that I just showed you. Yes. So depending on the concentration of your essential oils determines your usage rates. Are we clear now? So your usage rates of your essential oils shouldn't fall within the range of above 5%. Meaning your usage rate of your essential oils, depending on the concentration, should be within 3 to 5%. Are you surprised? Don't be as good and as healthy as essential oil. It still has usage rates. Yes, it still has the amount where you should focus on, depending on the strength. So basically, when you're getting any essential oils, take try to get to um, know the strength of these essential oils first before you use them. The higher the concentration, the lower the usage rate. The uh, lower the concentration, then you can afford to increase the usage rate. Like these essential oils that I just showed you, one of Imani and El Hawaj, I use them mostly at 5%. This is an example. Example, I want to use um, essential oil because personally, I don't use fragrance. I use essential oils as my fragrance in place of fragrance uh, for my formulation. Let's say I'm making a cream base. I'm making a cream, let's say rather, or a lotion. Like I just made um, a lotion for children and I used a little bit of tea tree oil. Yes, in it. Yeah. So I'm making a cream slash lotion of about, let's say, um, 200 grams you understand and i intend to use my essential oil at five percent let's say i intend to use my t3 essential oil at about five percent now this is going to work like this it's going to be five all over 100 times 200 
right as usual as simple arithmetic it goes like this now this is we're left with 10 grams so at um a lotion or cream of about 200 grams i will just drop 10 grams at least of my t3 essential oil and the reason why i'm doing using up to five percent is the fact that i know that um my essential oil is of medium concentration are we clear if your essential oil is of high concentration then you have to drop the usage rate you can use it as five percent because the five is the maximum do you understand and then three some people even go as low as one or two it's just your choice just make sure you don't exceed the five percent usage rate of whatever kind of essential oil whether it's medium concentrated whether it's low concentrated whether it's high concentrated in fact high i wouldn't even advise to use up to as much as five percent because essential oils has a way of irritating some skin types like personally i don't even use there are certain products that i make i don't even use essential oils reason being the fact that i wouldn't want you to irritate some certain skin types yes especially products that have tendency of going deep down into the pores example like body scrubs yeah um especially like chemical body scrubs maybe if i'm making a body scrub with lactic acid or salicylic acid all those kind of chemical scrubs i try to avoid the use of essential oils because these scrubs have the tendency of going deep down into the pores of the skin to exfoliate so with essential oil in them these essential oils too we also be part of the ingredients that will go deep down into your pores and in some skin types it doesn't go well at all so essential oil is something that i avoid in some formulations i know a lot of you will be like wow really she yeah not no, not all beautiful things are always beautiful i don't know so this girl i'm trying to say that whatever has advantage also has disadvantage even though the disadvantage is very small yes essential oils there are some certain essential oils that should not even be used for pregnant women or breastfeeding mothers yes you're, you it's it's that serious she you understand so basically when you're using essential oils stick to their usage rates first and foremost know the concentration of your essential oil is it a medium concentration is a high concentration is a low concentration know the concentration first before you consider usage rates so thank you so much thank you so much and um don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like my video share my video if you can and thank you so much see you in another video bye